This truck for us is something that we're not expecting to happen maybe in the next two years or so. It has been a blessing, more than a blessing for us to be able to receive this. How the truck is going to support reclaimers, the opportunities are endless. From making sure that elderly women don't travel kilometers a day to be able to get materials, to being able to access areas where reclaimers don't normally have access to go and collect that materials. would like to say thank you to the government of Japan and UNIDO for, for trusting in us and for everyone that has come through in support of ARO. Whether we are receiving a truck or we are receiving Millimil, your presence and your support is really appreciated. This is a game-changing moment for reclaimer integration in South Africa. For the past three years, four years, all of the stakeholders in the country have been working together to develop a national guideline on waste picker integration. Errol was a key part of that process in terms of helping us define what reclaimer integration means. And through, this, through their own initiatives, now strengthened by UNIDO in Japan, they are leading the way in the implementation of reclaimer integration. Reclaimers have been doing this, finding trucks, finding resources. And so where many projects that support reclaimers, but also because of the way that this UNIDO program is designed. The main focus of the program is on creating alternatives to plastics. But UNIDO had the foresight to realize that reclaimers are central to the plastics economy. And if there's gonna be any transition, they have to be involved in that process so that we can learn from them and also so that reclaimers can continue to be part of whatever is created. The waste reclaimers are, you know, the frontliners of the society. If you are not empowered and you are not working in a secure environment, you will be affected, we will be affected, everybody will be affected. Within a partnership between UNIDO and the government of Japan and in a close partnership with CSIR, uh, WITS, ARO, and many others. We thought that we should address waste uh, management and go through a, a process. It might surprise you to know that um, attempts to bring people together who are responsible for recycling in this country is something that has been going on now for the last 11 years. But there had never until I think 2017 been any serious attempts to try and get the people that walk the streets of Johannesburg basically collecting recyclables, other than the ones that basically work in the, in the landfill sites. So ARO is the first organization that made it possible. For us to get together was a very historic moment. We couldn't have done this without you. And this is the spirit that we want to embrace. We believe in experimentation and pioneers in trying things out. Failing, sometimes succeeding, but at all times we learn lessons. So thank you very much to everyone.